Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rhino Joe Outdoors. And on today's episode, I'm gonna discuss one of the main problems that I've had with this kayak since I've been out on it, after being out on it quite a few times, and something that I did to fix it. And it has to do with these paddle holders, and I will... kayak um, it has these little paddle holders right here and these paddle holders are like right inside here I mean I know that I've got a, a giant crate but even if you don't have a giant crate and you're using these bungees if you're trying to get this out on the water trying to turn around uh, get it out of here um, it's basically really difficult now originally what I was gonna do is move these paddle clips to the top using some track mounts but what I found is as you can tell by looking at this here is that this paddle I have a 250 uh, 250 paddle here and it was hitting my native landing gear or my native uh, sidekick so I couldn't mount it on top so what I came up with is I left this one here in the stock spot. I took these uh, holders here that were the original ride butt holders and I put both of them on one side. So if you wonder why that is, it's because nine times out of 10 when I use this kayak, I do not have to use a paddle. But if you get up somewhere shallow where you might need to go over a log or something like that, or you just need to get out of a shallow spot. I usually just can get by with using one side of the paddle. So with these regular like rod butt holders on here, they have these retention straps. So that way I'm not worried about this paddle coming out. It's really in there, but I can turn around, I can release these bungees, and then I can take this paddle out and I can use it and then when I'm done, I can just put it back, put the retention strap down, and go on my merry way. Um, if you have a shorter paddle, you might be able to do that on both sides, but unfortunately with this long paddle, I'm not able to do that. Um, but that gets me through 99% of the time. Um, I've really not had to use like a full paddle on this. So um, if you guys have this kayak and you have the same issue, please comment down below with maybe something that you've done. Um, and let me know what you think about it. But I do have one thing that I'd like to ask you guys, and that is that like, I usually am big on naming my kayaks, and I have not named this one yet. So I really need to christen this vessel and give it a name. So if you have a comment or a suggestion for what I should name this big green machine, hey, um, let me know in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, get outside, do something awesome. And if you get a chance, take somebody with you. See you guys in the next one.